Good day to our dear learners of TV Escuela, DepEd, Davao de Oro. I am teacher Jovil Tumanda Villariz from Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School of Nabunturan West District. And today, I will be your teacher in TLE9 Agricultural Crop Production. How are you today? Are you excited for today's lesson? Great! Please get your module ready together with your notebook and pen. In your previous lesson, you learned about returning materials for storage or disposal. As a review, what principle assures that products are rotated through the facility regularly so that the oldest products are used first? Yes! Very good! First in, first out principle. How about bag or package dry products are stored approximately 10 to 15 centimeters on the floor and away from the walls? What can be prevented by doing this? Correct! Very good! It's contamination. This topic is very important for you to remember as we proceed to our new lesson for today. Cleaning, maintaining, and storing tools equipment. After going through this lesson, you are expected to demonstrate understanding on clean, maintain, and store tools and equipment according to manufacturer specification. Cleaning, Storing and waste management protects tools from the element blades such as electric hedge trimmer blades, hoe, shovel, and other metal surfaces can be sprayed with lubricant oil. Spray the blades, then turn them on to make sure oil works into all areas. All electrical and petrol gardening equipment need to be covered with a blanket or a sheet if kept in a shed. This will prevent dust and dirt getting to them. Make it sure that all tools and equipment are well organized and maintained in good working condition. They should be stored in a separate secure place so that they are safe and easy to find. Lost tools are expensive to replace and much time can be wasted if they are not available and ready to use when needed. It is usual for those who have responsibility for looking after tools, equipment, and materials to keep an inventory list of these things. General cleaning procedure. The farmer and or farm workers responsible for cleaning must adhere as much as possible to the following procedures. First, be properly trained on the cleaning procedures. Second, develop a cleaning program and schedule according to the recommended frequency and the cleaning program should be monitored to ensure its effectiveness. Third, cleaning must not take place while fresh vegetables are being harvested, packed, or handled and stored. Fourth, Water that is used for cleaning must be safe. Fifth, the cleaning of equipment, tools, and containers must take place in a designated area away from field and the storage of agricultural inputs and fresh vegetables. Sixth, when using cleaning and disinfection chemicals, the farmer and or farm workers must become familiar with the instruction on the use of this product. Seventh, strictly adhere to all precautionary statement and mixing instructions. Eight, protect equipment, tools, containers, and fresh vegetables when working with any chemicals. The tools and equipment to do the work are important and a secure place to store them is required. This could be a lockable shed or a room within a building. 
it is also a good idea to have a toolbox equipped with the necessary farm tools and materials ready to be picked up and taken to a job. Here are the pointers to follow in storing tools and equipments. First, have a designated place for each kind of tools. Second, label the storage cabinet or place correctly for immediate finding. Third, store them near the point of use. Fourth, wash and dry properly before storing. Fifth, store knives properly when not in use with sharp edge down. Farm tools and equipment help make farm work easier. There are many of them designed to do a number of functions. The design and shape of the tools and equipment should be given proper attention if they are to do their function for which they were made. This brings to mind how to effectively maintain farm tools and equipment. First, sharpen tools before and after use. When you sharpen your tools, it reduces the amount of force you need to apply to accomplish the task. Blunt tools may break when used. Second, oil or grease metal parts. This will prevent rust of metal parts of tools and equipment. Oiling the movable parts makes the tools easy to work with. It also increases the efficiency of the tools or equipment. Third, wooden handles should be strong. Make sure tools with wooden handles are strong and durable. If there is any defect, replace them. Fourth, dry tools after use. After using tools or equipment, clean and make sure they are dried before packing or hanging them. This will prevent them from rusting. Fifth, hang your garden tools. Keep your tools hung. Leaving them on the floor can cause rust as they may come in contact with moisture. Leaving tools on the floor may cause injury to persons, or persons stepping on them may break or deform them, causing them to be unsuitable for work. Sixth, store tools in their original cases. Some tools and equipment come in their special cases to keep them protected for damage. Make sure to clean and keep them in their original cases. 7. Use silica gel packs. Silica gel helps to keep tools dry in their cases. Use silica gel to prevent rust of tools and equipment with metal parts. Now that you already know the procedure on how to clean, maintain, and store tool equipment, I'm sure that you are ready to try it in your home. Are you excited to perform it? Great! In your modules, you are given the procedure and performance level evaluation that will serve as your guide. Ask someone to take a video while you are working on your performance task, for this will serve as your documentation in your outputs. For your another activity, please open your module on page 11, what I have learned. Read the directions carefully before answering. You must answer it on a different sheet of paper. If you encounter difficulties in answering the module, do not hesitate to ask for assistance from your parents or guardians or consult to your teacher.
That is all for today and thank you for being with me. I hope you learned something new. Just continue learning and keep discovering new things in our new normal way of learning here in Davao de Oro TV Escuela. Once again, I am teacher Jovil Tumanda Villariz from Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School of Nabunturan West District saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama! Bye-bye!